I offered 10,000 and suggested 10,000 National Guardsmen. We want the National Guard to be there, 10,000, or even the military, because I knew the crowd was going to be massive. And Pelosi and these people turned it down. We would have had tremendous security, but they turned and it down. A former President Trump last week calling out House Speaker Nancy Pelosi for refusing his calls for more security on January 6th. Now a new memo from a former D.C. National Guard official appears to be uh, confirming at least part of uh, Mr. Trump's story. Uh, Colonel Earl Matthews writing, quote, Army Lieutenant General Walter Piat stated that the presence of uniformed military personnel could inflame the situation and that the police were best suited to handle the situation. Both Lieutenant Generals Piat and Flynn, the brother of uh, General Michael Flynn, stated that the optics of having uniformed military personnel deployed to the U.S. Capitol would not be good. Here now, President of Judicial Watch, Tom Fenton, an author of A Republic Under Assault. Uh, Tom, it's great to have you with us today. So what do you make of this? I know you, you obviously have information. You've looked into this for months and months. Um, you know, were calls from then-President Trump to call in the National Guard disregarded by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi? Well, they were disregarded by virtually everyone who was responsible for security on the Hill. Uh, whether she specifically rejected 10,000 troops, and that was something he told his senior people, and they didn't want to do it. And what's interesting about this memo, the reaction of the senior Pentagon leadership is, kind of, is similar to Milley's reaction. Remember, he thought he was burned politically by trying to protect the White House from being overrun by uh, crazed leftists uh, in the summer. So they were facing another maybe political uh, uh, violence potentially at the Capitol, and they didn't want to have they want to, didn't want to be there again. So it was a failure of leadership by our Pentagon a failure of leadership by Nancy Pelosi, and it was an unholy mess, as we saw on January 6th. I think Matthews is also suggesting that these uh, lieutenant generals uh, lied to Congress about what happened. Uh, do, you, do you have reason to believe that's the case? And what did they say and what really happened? Well, they suggested to Congress that optics didn't have anything to do with it, and uh, this memo suggests, in fact, that was the case. So. It's uh, it's something that I think should be carefully looked at. Uh, you know, the other thing is, I mean, we had documents come out, guys. I don't know if you saw a few weeks ago. They knew there was going to be a big crowd at the Capitol. They knew that most of the folks at the at the rally would end up at the Capitol, and the security was not appropriate for the size of the crowd. And you had uh, opportunists and the uh, push past the. Um, uh, woefully undermanned security barriers, and then the crowd followed, and we saw what happened. Hi, Rob Carson here. If you love watching Newsmax, you're really going to love listening to our new podcast. It's called the Newsmax Daily. I host it, and I give you the best briefing of the big news of the day, top newsmaker interviews, and even, yes, a few laughs. I know it's hard to believe. So if you're uh, driving, walking, exercising, just about anywhere, you can connect with the Newsmax Daily with me, Rob Carson. Find our podcast online or go to iPhone, Spotify, iHeart, Stitcher, and more, and start listening today.